What's up? It's Hannah, and we're going on an adventure. This is Kirsten, my friend, and this is her awesome Toyota Tacoma. We're gonna check out some natural hot springs and go on an off-road adventure. I'm gonna let Kirsten tell you all about her off-road vehicle. Toyota Tacoma. We've had it for um, almost exactly one year. We got it Thanksgiving uh, last year. So yeah, it's been pretty awesome. We've taken it lots of places. Here we have the all pro bumper and the rugged ridge wench, which we've used to get quite a few people out of some icy situations. Uh, Alex likes to be a hero and, and pull everybody out of the ditch. So. He saved me once, not gonna lie. Probably the most eye-catching part of this vehicle is definitely, uh, are definitely the tires. So we have these Cooper Discovery STT Pro 33 inch. They've been pretty awesome. They get us through pretty much every type of weather that there is. Ice, snow, water, rain. Uh, here we have our awesome Tough Stuff Overland rooftop tent. It sleeps four people. As you can see, we've put it on top of a bed rack. Um, that saves us uh, the airspace when we're driving. So that way we don't have too much air resistance and it saves a lot of gas mileage. And then you can see we still have lots of room in the bed to load up all of our camping gear. Definitely better to sleep elevated, especially in this kind of weather, keeps you pretty warm. If you wanna go ahead and see a little bit more about the truck, see the specs, see the adventures we've gone on so far, go ahead and check out my husband's Instagram page, at More Expeditions. So these hot springs are pretty much out in the middle of nowhere. I'd done some research on them to get an idea of how to get there and just how much off-roading was required, and basically came to the conclusion that my truck would have some major difficulty. My truck's pretty long and wide, and I haven't put any gnarly tires on it yet. If you were to bring a full-size truck with a truck camper or camper van back there, you'd most likely get yourself some hefty body damage between all the narrow rock walls and low-hanging trees. But Alex and Kirsten's Tacoma was the perfect vehicle, and Alex has a lot of experience with off-road. So the traverse is about an hour and a half, depending on the conditions. It's 10 miles in and back. There's two river points to pass through, and the path is really narrow with a decent amount of moderate hill climb and rocky passage. The best time of year is typically late spring or early fall when the water levels are the lowest, but I really wanted to go when it was snowing so I could enjoy the snow-capped mountains. Who doesn't love enjoying some snow-capped mountains while you're sitting in some hot springs? The path is definitely not well marked, but again, the snow really helped with that. So this spot was definitely more difficult to get to than I originally anticipated, but then again, there's the reason it's so secluded. There were a couple rough spots where I really wasn't sure if we were going to get stuck, but the taco truck made it. Because of this, I didn't get much footage of the trickier spots because I was outside spotting, but I certainly felt like it was an adventure to say the least. It's a beautiful abandoned cabin. It looks like an old homestead. So we're getting pretty close to the hot springs now. Uh, we ran into this beautiful cabin. Let me show you my crib. <laughs> Let's take a look crib. inside. <laughs> okay. Look at the old mattress. At least a three bedroom inside. Nice. I think so too. Oh yeah, look at this kitchen. It's homey. Beautiful, there's a storm coming in. So this was pretty cool. Definitely a great spot to take a little rest, but we're getting Wait, really we close to the, the hot basement. springs. The <laughs> Let's check out this haunted basement. I'm not going in there. I'm going in. I'm not going in. I dare you. Oh I double dog dare you. <laughs> it's pretty creepy inside. Dead bodies. 
so creepy. I think they need to get some new carpet. Red rum, red rum, red rum. <laughs> So this is why they recommend visiting the hot springs during the summer and fall months. This river. After the snow has melted, it can get pretty high. And if you're kayaking down or canoeing, that's fine. But a lot of people trek in and out and you have to cross this in order to get to the hot springs. Thankfully though, Alex's taco truck did just fine. So here we are pulling up to the hot springs for the first time. So a hot spring works with a spring that comes out of the earth further up above the hot spring pools. And you can see the heat coming off the water. I had never seen this before. If you can't tell by my excitement. We made it to the hot springs. Gorgeous. Finally. This isn't smoke that you see. This is a natural hot spring. This is a steam. It's so crazy. It smells like sulfur. Lots of thermophiles. We're gonna follow the hot springs down to where the water collects, where they collect in pools. So it's basically a hot tub, a natural hot spring tub. The water is actually pretty warm. It feels great. These hot springs are wonderful. There's two natural pools and they're both around 100 degrees. The larger pools set above 20 feet over the river with an infinity style build. The water from the hot springs spills over the side into the river creating a waterfall of mineral rich water and brightly colored algae. This is what life should be like every day. Whoa! <laughs> I almost fell. This is a top secret hot spring in the middle of nowhere. You have to have a crazy off-road vehicle to get here. My truck definitely would not have made it. It's too long, too wide. Those rocks would have wrecked my car, but Thanks to Kirsten and Alex, we have an awesome vehicle. We got across both rivers, and now there's just, it's so secluded. It's, there's not that many places like this left anymore. Everything is populated and run over by tourists, and it's just like such a gem to be able to find something like this that's so peaceful and so pretty. And it's like, snow has fallen, it's beautiful. Definitely coming back here during the summertime, I'm gonna camp. First I have to figure out how I'm gonna get back here because my camper definitely wouldn't make it. But pitch a tent, start a fire, cook some hot dogs. I think it sounds like a perfect plan to me. <laughs> hot springs really are amazing. They're geothermally warmed pools, rich in minerals from the Earth's mantle. They're excellent for reducing stress, relaxing tense muscles, and helping increase blood circulation. So not only are you getting a nice peaceful swim, but you're also benefiting your health. Many hot springs are commercially maintained. These are nice too, but there's just something special about being with something so natural and so untouched. Before we left, I checked out the second hot spring. This one's way warmer. Yeah, This makes awesome. my soul feel good. Feels really, really nice. I wish I had a fire. So nice to have a fire right now. We're just like by ourselves out here. Nobody's out here. We have this completely to ourselves. I mean, I wish we were camping out here. There's definitely, there's like a fire pit. Could have a fire, a cup of coffee. Watch the stars at night. Yeah, listen to some music. This is, this is so cool. The best feeling in the world is getting your feet in some nice, warm, cozy boots. This is my new look. Snow boots, bikini tops. But seriously, I can't wait to come back here and camp. It's just too special, but for now, it's time to trek on back to the real world. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my adventure as much as I did. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any new videos. I'll be showing off my excellent snowboarding skills here soon. Make sure you grab some popcorn and get ready to laugh.